Hey everybody, today I'm going to uh, tell you about a new game for my collection. I played this game today for the first time. This is Elder Sign. Uh, this is a card game and a dice game that was released by Fantasy Flight Games many years ago. We're talking about more than 10 years ago. Uh, this is a very old game. Generally, I'm not really interested in Cthulhu games, and Elder Sign comes from that universe. This game is based on Cthulhu monsters. In the past, I played Arkham Horror, the board game. I played also Study in Emerald. You can find the review video for that game on my channel. I don't mind playing these games. I don't mind trying them out. And I actually purchased this game because when I uh, came across this game here, when I watched a couple of review videos for this game, I discovered that this game actually played really similarly to another game uh, that I have in my collection, that I've had in my collection for a very long time. That other game that I'm talking about is called Age of War. It's a small light game, it's a filler game, in which you're rolling dice to be able to claim cards from the table and complete sets of cards. In this game, Elder Sign, uh, you're actually doing the same thing, and this is really, really surprising. You see, in this game you're rolling these dice, uh, most of the time you're gonna roll the green dice, but every now and then you can also roll the yellow and the red dice that are a little bit better. You're rolling these dice to get the, uh, the right combinations of symbols that you can uh, find here on these cards. Let's take a closer look here at these cards. You see here we've got a bunch of symbols on these cards. You, you, you have to get the, uh, the symbols that are indicated here on this card with your uh, dice rolls. And if you're able to do that, you can claim the card, and the card is going to give you points and also rewards that are listed down here. If you fail to do that, you're going to get damage that is indicated down here in this other uh, corner of the card. These cards just represent different areas of this museum where you are working in this game. You see here we've got the archives, uh, the administration office, the Hall of the Dead. So these are all different areas of these uh, museum. I don't know where this museum is uh, exactly. It may be in London or in New York. Uh, I don't really know. I think in London because these games generally are, they are all set in London. You're working in this museum, you, you know that something strange, something pretty unusual is taking place in this museum and you're trying to understand what is happening. So basically you are exploring the museum, you are uh, investigating every area of the museum, rolling your dice, what is really happening in this place is that monsters from the Cthulhu realm are trying to infiltrate into our world through the museum. The museum works as a sort of a gate, a portal between our dimension and the other dimension, the, the, the world of the Cthulhu monsters. I really like this aspect of the game because for the first time ever, all right, for the first time ever, I was actually able to enjoy a Cthulhu game. I didn't really like the theme in Arkham Horror. I didn't really like the theme in A Study in Emerald. I enjoyed those other games. I, I enjoyed playing them, but I never thought that the, uh, the theme was actually fun or interesting. In this game, instead, I was really sucked in by the theme and by these cards. It really feels like you are working in this museum you are exploring all these different areas of the museum, and that's pretty, pretty cool. And every area represents a new challenge, a new adventure. When you complete a card, then you're gonna reveal a new area of the museum, and you don't know what is going to happen there. This game is also really unpredictable. Some pretty uh, bad things can happen when you reveal these cards. For example, this card down here just locked the red die away, and that was a huge blow. Basically, when this card was revealed, it just made it impossible for me to continue the game because this red die here was sealed away on this card and I couldn't use it anymore. So I, I just tried to complete this card multiple times. Every time I failed, I lost a lot of life, a lot of uh, sanity, and uh, basically uh, at that point I, I just died. This was the character that I used in this game. I played with... Kate Winbrop, she's got 6 sanity and 4 health. She's a pretty good character. In my first two games, I played with these other two characters and I don't recommend you choose these characters for your solo games because these two characters here are just too weak. You see, this number here is too low. 
just free uh, sanity or free health is just too little for a solo game. Uh, you need to have at least four or six uh, like on this card here. These stats here are pretty good. Uh, so basically, I lost every single time. This game is really, really hard. You are racing against time. You got this big clock here. Every time you take an action, you're gonna move the clock forward by three hours. And when you reach midnight, when the clock strikes midnight, you're gonna reveal a Mythos card from that deck, from this small deck here. And when you do that, basically you're gonna place a counter on the Doom track that you got on this card. At the beginning of the game, you're going to select one big bossy Cthulhu monster. Here, for example, we have Hasathoth. It's a big monster. And each monster in this game comes with its own unique Doom track. Uh, that is essentially just a series of circles. Uh, whenever the clock strikes midnight at the end of a round, you're gonna place your counter on this track, and when you reach the end of the track, that is pretty much the end of the game. At that point, the monster will wake up and will enter our world, and at that point, you are pretty much screwed. If you want to prevent that from happening, you have to collect here a number of East tokens here. These are the Elder Signs that you have to place here on this monster. And here, for example, you need 14 Elder Signs to uh, defeat the monster. And you see, uh, in my final game, I was able to collect a total of 3, 6, 8 Elder Sign uh, tokens before I uh, lost. So I was still missing 6 of, uh, six of them. This is one pretty um, significant difference between this game and Age of War, the game that I mentioned before. Uh, this game is a lot more tense, uh, because you can really feel the tension, you can really feel the pressure. The clock is ticking, and you have to collect these Elder Sign tokens before you run out of time. And this game, gosh, this game is really, really hard, it's really difficult. I've heard of people describing this game as a piece of cake. I don't really know what kind of game they have played because, gosh, I really have a very hard time today playing this game. I played this game three times in a row and I lost every single time. This game is really, really hard and it's extremely punishing. You just want to make sure that you don't make mistakes, that you don't waste time, because time is really, really precious. For this reason, you're always second-guessing yourself. And, you know, this game is also highly unpredictable because you are essentially rolling dice. So it all comes down to uh, luck. There are ways to mitigate your dice rolls, there are ways to increase your chances, but it's a very hard game. So this was my first impression review for Elder Sign. I just really like this game. This game really lived up to expectations. I just wanted a game that, that played like Age of War. But at the same time, I wanted a game that had a, de a deeper story that was uh, just a lot more, um, uh, just a, a better game, a deeper game, and um, with a more involved gameplay. And this game just delivered on every uh, count. So I really like this game. Now, this was just a first review. Stay tuned if you want to uh, take a look at the complete review for this game and if you want to listen to my final thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna play this game more times, also with more players, and then uh, eventually I will work on the final review for this game. So, until that video, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.